So in Wendy and Kevin's yard, they have these two mounds. There's this one here and then one over there. We really don't know what they are or what they're for. When they bought the house, they were there. They were there. So since it's getting to be Halloween time in another few weeks, um, Halloween decorations are out. And we've been thinking about this for months. So we got some little headstones and some daisies, you know, because they're pushing up daisies. So we're going to set them up. We're going to put them up here. Kevin and Wendy are gone for the day. Yeah. this because I'm not sure how hard this dirt is. I think it's pretty soft. Probably. Not soft enough? The wind gonna blow it? Probably. We might have to put some rocks around it. Okay. To help steady it. Yeah. Alright, let me go get some rocks. We'll have to go get some rocks. You got your rocks? Got the rocks, yep. Oh. It's not going to go in very far. That one is. There we go, there's one. Let's go do the other one. Oh, this is really soft. This maybe a little bit too soft. So a little update to our grades. Kevin has decided to play along. Look, there's someone's feet. And that must be his hat. There's his ball cap. <laughs> so I have an addition we're gonna make to it. Let's see what we can do with these gloves. All right, here we go. Now what starts with the letter C? Cookie starts with C. I'm making peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter cookies. Mmm, yummy. It just looks like peanut butter. <laughs> it only has four ingredients. What's inside there? I'm not telling. Give me three of them. Okay. Peanut butter. <laughs> That's one. That's two. Peanuts and butter. <laughs> Sugar. Yes, dear, what can I help you with? <laughs> no, you're honey. Oh. There's peanut butter and sugar and two other ingredients. What? <laughs> Said I'm not telling. <laughs> why Why won't you tell us? Because it's a secret. No, it's not a secret. Super good, super creamy, probably not so good for you. It just has peanut butter, sugar, egg, and vanilla. That's all. And are you going to cook them in the toaster oven, or are yeah. you going to cook them in the oven oven? Um, just the toaster oven. Toaster oven. Yep. And then... So really, we're having toasted peanut butter cookies. Not no, baked. This is an oven. 
Yeah, like Tunga says, these should be called bakeys. You don't cook cookies. You bake them. They should be called bakeys. Mm. And you're supposed to dip your, your fork in sugar. That way it doesn't stick. But I put chocolate chips on top, so... See, I would have just ripped it open. Yeah. Chocolate chips would have went flying everywhere. Why don't you just take a handful and go like that? Because. That's what I would do. I know. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I'd spread a bunch of chocolate chips down like that and take the dough and go and then they'd be on one side, take them off, and then flatten it out. What? See, that's how you do cooking the right way. <laughs> the how you doing way. Oh boy, let's eat. Yeah. Mmm. Very impressive. Why don't they make knobs with something that you can grip? These are all slippery. 375. Yeah, preheating. Yummy. So, how long is it going to take now that you got it all? Oh, ready? like preheating. Oh, it works a lot better if you plug it in. <laughs> I unplugged it after we had toast. Now I have to plug it back in. Then it will start re preheating. Uh-huh. Ah, look at that. Oh, okay, look, so. There's a light. Yeah, there's a light. <laughs> the light is on means it's working. <laughs> Unfortunately, this light's on, but nobody's there's, home. There's no light on here. Nobody's <laughs> home. So how long is it going to take? Um, They take about eight to ten minutes each okay. time they go in there. So... Oh, time to take them out. I hear a timer. Timer going off. Oh my. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. That's a gummy. Oh my. Set them there, let them cool for a little bit. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. How long is a little bit? <laughs> Till they don't burn your tongue. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. Mmm. Oh, cookie, 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 start with C. <laughs> Cookies. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm going to go outside and uh, cut a new piece of plastic. This is like what we have on our door, but we need to cover up the um, RV lock inside part why like. why so because it's raining oh and this way we can have our door open this way we can have our door open. i can't reach it though unless we close the door oh okay so just, just it cover up. it up to cover it up we just make a flap we've done this before but we need a new one all right so about here to about here. Good Close enough. Close enough. Yep. Good enough. And we can leave our big door open when it's raining, so long as it's not super windy, because on our screen door we have the plastic on the inside. Yeah, as long as it's not, you know, a hard rain, because then it would come in down yeah. here. But that way we've got light coming in all the time. Well, there we go. So it's just enough plastic to cover this so it doesn't get wet and ruin the mechanism inside here. And unless it's windy, we can just do this. And we can lift the flap up to get to the doorknob from that side. Voila! <laughs> so we've been using this method of the plastic on the screen door and the plastic over that for a few years now. Um, and it has worked for us. Um, granted, it's not all fancy, 
but it works for us and we like having the door open. So having the plastic covering the inside, we can, we've got the earth magnets where we can take the plastic off when we want airflow to come in and then we have the plastic on it when we want to keep the cold or the heat out or the rain and still have light coming in. So this method has worked for us for several years now. And uh, just in case anybody had any questions. Take your bed.